This AQ! AQ! And the baby's coming out. Fellas, again, focus on yourself. That's what it is. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy AQ, and I'm back with another reaction video for you guys today. And today we're going to do a reaction video from Pop the Balloon or Find Love. Let's jump right into the video. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Dorian. Dorian, how old are you? I'm 27. Okay, and what do you do? Um, I work for a Fortune 50 um, company as an insurance agent. I also rap. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, uh, I don't see rap. What else do you do for fun? Um, for fun, I like to travel a lot. I like to stamp my passport. I'm very adventurous, skydiving, jet skiing, whatever the world brings us. Nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, what if... Wow. Damn. <laughs> okay. Good job, fellas. Good job. They were able to spot a bird a mile away. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> Y'all don't like to travel? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Now, what are some things you look for in a man? What do I look for in a man? I really like an outgoing guy. I'm a very outgoing person, respectful, um, emotionally intelligent. And I also like a man that makes as much money as me or more. Mm, okay. Exactly. Nice. Get the bag. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, what are some deal breakers? Deal breakers. <sighs> felonies. But the felonies as far as sexual, violent, small penis. <laughs> Deal breaker. <laughs> All right. So Period. we did get. I'm just being honest. We did get a couple pop balloons. That's fine. Let's go ahead and they see what they didn't pop it. Mm -hmm. All right. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Uh, my name is Dante. I'm 25. <laughs> and why'd you pop Dante? Don't don't get on the internet, bro. Um, spots on your stain in your little dress. I you was in the bag you? drunk, so whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. You feel me? I can't it's fine. That. It's a $300 dress. <laughs> what? I was in the back drunk. Yo, these birds ain't got no shame, bro. And then she going to say it's a $300 dress. Why is her tummy sticking out the dress, though? She got that little fupa thing going. Come on, man. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, it's the $300 dress. My bad. I got a little makeup on it. Just to show it's like... You can pay attention to care, stuff like that. You feel mm. me? You're trying to be presentable. Just that, yeah. Okay. You feel me? That's Respect all. that. She's pretty. Pretty. Gracias. She's pretty. Mm -hmm. Now, is he someone that's your type? Um, No, I'm not going to. Where are you from? From Michigan. He's from Michigan, and he has a cowboy hat on. No. I can see if he was from Texas or something. I feel like Southern boys wear the cowboy hats. I'm not a big fan of the cowboy hat. Y'all are so mean. They got country boys in Michigan. <laughs> Anyways, next. Name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Ryan. I'm 26. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. And I think you just had an unwelcoming demeanor. And that was it. We know why. I mean, you know, everybody popped their balloon, so I might as well be honest. I mean, I, I don't want to get into it, but I can understand why you would think I have an unwelcoming demeanor. But you're very handsome, Ryan. I love your dimples, but I'm actually very much a sweetheart. Next. Okay. <laughs> Name and age and why you ended up popping? Chris, 27. Mm -hmm. Just because I don't do those skydiving. You know, I'm, I'm scared of heights. Mm -hmm. And so I had I had problems in my past with my last girl. She was tweaking with me because I didn't want to do the little, with the, uh, the Superman thing in Vegas. We didn't broke up over that. Okay. Yeah, it was bad. Okay. Okay. And you said your name is? Chris. Chris, so you pop my balloon because you don't like skydiving? You said you like doing adventurous stuff, skydiving. What'd you say? Jumping out of airplanes, uh, roller coasters? I don't do that. I mean, but she asked me what I like to do. She didn't ask you what you like to do. But I mean, I understand if you don't like skydiving. We could have went on a nice dinner date. You're very handsome. I love the Balabas's pants. I got a couple pair myself. Mm. I like the outfit. You know, I don't think you, I think you're going to regret popping your balloon. But I understand if you don't want to go <laughs> skydiving. Everybody need a woman to get them out their comfort zone. So now, apart from her saying, you know, the skydiving, whatever it is, is she someone that is your type? Yeah, for sure. Okay. You know, I mean, I, I like the demeanor. I ain't gonna lie. Thank you. That ain't a problem with me at all. Mm -hmm. I like the demeanor. I wouldn't make you skydive. If you said no, I would take no for an answer. Yeah. Homie obviously got a thing for birds. But look, fellas, 
when it comes to these birds, the signs are always there, fam. If a chick got fake hair, a face filled with makeup, fake eyelashes and all that, bro, all of those things are signs of a bird. And just off the fact that she's very superficial and materialistic, fam, shorty is who she is, bro. She's steady talking about the price of things. I got a few of those pans, and she's steady popping her shit. Y'all got to pay attention, man. That is a bird. Okay. Yeah, but okay. you can follow my Instagram. I think I can get you to skydive. You think so? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel a little vibe here. You want that balloon back? He don't got to take his balloon back. We not begging. Let's go to the next. Oh, no. We're not begging, <laughs> but he looks like he's feeling you, girl. He it's looks cool. like he's If you don't want to skydive, I understand, but you got to get out your comfort zone. You got to explore different things. You got to enjoy your life. You young, so. Hey, you ain't lying. Yeah. You're good. We going to move on then. <laughs> All right. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is John. I'm 31. Mm -hmm. And I pop my balloon because you came out a little aggressive. You feel me? I like femininity. I'm not saying you not feminine, but your demeanor, maybe it's liquor. You feel me? But No. And I think we're from the same city, and I'm mm -mm. not trying to date no women from that. So. Oh, you from Indianapolis? I'm from Indiana. Oh, so. my gosh. I love that. So, first of all, what side of Indianapolis are you I'm from? from the east side. What part? Uh, Arlington. You from Arlington, like yeah. 46? 46 in Arlington. All right. Shout out to the east side of Indianapolis. Shout out. If you're from Indianapolis, you know why I'm like I am the way I am. I'm from East Side. I mean, aggressive is crazy. Femininity is crazy. I feel like my hair is done. My nails is I'm done. I'm not saying you're not feminine. I said, but you came out a little aggressive. And Did it was I like, cuss? You was on a de defensive mode. No, I think you guys all look handsome. I just, I'm just very like, this is my personality. I don't feel like I got to tone down for nobody. But I respect that you want somebody that maybe you can run over. Not like that, but... But you're very handsome. I love the slugs. I'm from Indianapolis. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet I'm you, I'm from too. the east side of Indianapolis. Actually, I'm from... Well, maybe like, we need to link on some friendship shit, though. Friendship? Yeah. I don't think I want to be your friend. You embarrass me on public YouTube <laughs> with 1.5 million people. But I think that if you go home and then you mention my name, I think that you'll be presently supplies. Like, I can't talk, but anyways, you'll be... <laughs> Yo, she just confirming that she is a bird. Listen, fellas. If a chick is known where she's from, that means she got around. Mad dudes smash. And it's crazy because she's mad aggressive and then she said that she's outgoing. That's the sign of a bird. Yo, the signs are always there, man. This shit is crazy. <laughs> pleasantly surprised. I think you would actually hit me up after that. Right, well, you're very handsome. I love a chocolate man. Love your dreads. You look good. I like the Jordans. 10 out of 10. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to our next guy. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. Uh, I'm Trey, 25. And I believe our, our temperaments would clash. Uh, the personalities that we have. Uh, I'm not a big fan of, of drunkenness in public. <laughs> or okay. Just the idea of... It's just how... Yo, she down there stumbled. Damn, shorty, get your life together, man. You on a dating show drunk. This is sad, bro. What comes across? It's not, I'm not mm -hmm. tagging you with that. I'm just saying that's how it came across at first. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's really it. I believe, I believe you're actually... Beautiful. Thank you. What kind of favorite Glorilla? That to me. That's why Glorilla is crazy. I think Glorilla is beautiful. I'm dark skin. I think more like Kelly Rowland, but I appreciate the compliment. That's that's fine as well. Gracias. But but that's really it. I just believe our temperaments will clash. That's okay. All. Okay. Okay. No, is he someone that's your type? No, he's not my type. Okay. Why you not? Know, I I just don't think I would like to be out on a nice dinner date or skydiving with somebody that ha wears pearls. I'm not drunk at all. A little tipsy, you know. They gave us some drinks in the back, but I feel like I'm really put together. I feel like I'm carrying carrying myself classy. But if that's how you feel, then that's how you feel. I don't like the pants. I'm gonna be honest. I think that since you're light skin, you should have wore something a little bit more <laughs> less olive. But okay. But you're handsome though. Thank you. Love your beard. I love the earrings. She I think the it gold a beard, looks. Hold on. She called it a beard, y'all. Yeah, I think, I think, for a minute. Think, it's a beard I now, you feel me? I think that, honestly, opposites attract. So I feel like if you feel like our temperaments would clash, yeah. I feel like you should get a little bit more 
Confidence. I don't know. I That's think what you, you be doing. Some I, match. I think that you should maybe date somebody that is more out there and get you out your comfort zone. I appreciate the input. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, handsome. Let's yeah. Start over here. Mm -hmm. Your name and age, and why did you end up popping your balloon? I'm so sad. How you doing? My name is Nati. I'm 25 years old. Mm -hmm. Uh, I popped my balloon. I just didn't like the going back and forth with people. It's just not for me. That's all. Okay. You're very pretty. You know. Gracias for the compliment. Thank you. I'm not going to say it's going back and forth. Going back and forth sounds more like an argument. I feel like you guys stated your opinions about me and how you felt. And I feel like I gave you my opinions about y'all. I don't think it's a go going back and forth. I think that we're all adults and we should expect, um, respect each other's opinions. So, I mean, if that's how you feel, that, that's a red flag to me. Because imagine if we didn't agree on something and I said what I said and you said what you said. Now you feel like I'm going back and forth like a kid. No, it's just, we just disagree. But I respect that. I think you're very handsome. Your hair is curly. You look good. Thanks. I like the shirt. Where you get it from? My mama. Your My mom. Mama. Bless your mom. She's a great mom. It's nice. It's well tailored. No, it's real tailored. I like the gold. I like that. You, you look good. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Let's go to our next guy. Mm -hmm. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon? I really want to know. Uh, yeah, my name is Key. I'm 28. Mm -hmm. uh, really, uh, to be honest, man, the physical attraction just isn't there. But I was going to give you a chance. I was going to hear you out. You know, it's not, I mean, you don't look bad at all. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you, you know, you look pretty good. But then you said you rap. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not really cool with that. And all the traveling and stuff. So, like, the rapping, the traveling, the mm -hmm. being out, it's just, I don't like a busy woman like that. That's too. Doing a little bit too much, yeah. Okay, and, and that's understandable. Like, pretty much, it went back and forth almost every dude up here. No. So I feel like we kind of a little argumentative a little bit. So like, I can see us being out on a date and you going back and forth with a waiter because something ain't cooked right. Or, like, wow. So you think I d uh, disrespects uh, civilians and people that serve other people and do their job? These dudes civilians. They're civilians, but they all gave their opinion on me and what they didn't like about me, and I gave my opinion about that. But I'm just saying it was real. Like it was, it was pretty strong. Like it wasn't it's really. I'm not saying you don't have class, but I'm just saying it wasn't like classy, like how you okay. conduct yourself. Okay, I'll wait he's done. It's but, my turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, you go ahead. Okay, physical See attraction. So what's the physical attraction? I would love for you to get in detail. I mean, it's just not like, if, if I seen you out in the grocery store in the mall or something, I just like, I mean, you don't, like I said, you don't look bad. I just wouldn't really approach you like that. What's your type? My type, I mean. Yeah, <laughs> I would love what you are physically attracted to since you're not physically attracted yeah. to me. Which I'm not really. I mean, I like I like natural hair. Uh huh. Um, like, so I'm gonna keep it real. It's not so much like. Be honest. You can be pretty, but like the way you carry yourself can make you. I ain't gonna say ugly, but it can all that go out the window. So you felt like I carried myself a, okay, aggressively. A little bit. I, like I said, I don't know if it was the the drinks, but it was. No, this is it, how I okay, am all it, the time. It wasn't pleasant. I say that. It wasn't. Yo, the thing about a bird, a bird don't know better. Like, she don't know that she's coming off as a bird. She don't have a clue. <laughs> this is crazy. And pleasant. Yeah. Do y'all all feel that way? I don't see no balloon. I feel like y'all... I feel like y'all intimidated. I feel like I'm a very pleasant person. I feel like I understand the physical attraction. Me too. I pay attention to detail. I feel like you're dark skin. Your hair is pretty. You got a nice look to your, you know... Face, whatever. Yeah, appreciate it, appreciate Me, it. personally, I wouldn't put on no Dolce Cabanas because I feel like they played out because I'm into swag or whatever the case may be. That's all good. I feel like my attitude is actually very great. I feel like any man that dates me is going to be overwhelmed with me just supporting his confidence and me building him up. I feel like that if you guys don't like a woman that likes to have a conversation or maybe disagree every once in a while, then y'all should reevaluate reevaluate yourself. Um, also, as far as you saying that I'm the type of person that you feel like if we were outside and a waitress or a waiter um, said that I got into it with them or whatever you said, I'm sorry, I was kind of listening. Um, I think that is very... Um, I don't know word. I don't know how to describe it, but I mean, I go on five star dinner restaurants all the time. People make mistakes. I'm not going to fault anybody or be disrespectful because they make mistakes. But if somebody says something to me, I am going to speak my mind and then I'm going to give my man a chance to give me their opinion and I'm going to go back. Head on back. Thank you. All right. Well, that is all the balloons popped. Mm -hmm. But we do thank you for coming on. Thank Let's you. Let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. I'll take this mic. Oh. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> this right here fellas is a bird who is living in delusion you can't tell her the truth about herself 
she don't want to hear it. She just asked all the men if they agreed with dude. And they all said, yes, we agree with him. That's how you're coming off. This right here is sad, bro. And this is how most women are in 2024. They are living in delusions. They don't want to hear the truth about themselves. They rather live a lie. Fellas, pay attention to the signs. The signs are always there. I'm out.